Pinas KSA, and what are the qualifications to be a Ginoong Pilipina? Uh, my name is Rani. I am the Chief Executive Officer, or popularly known as CEO of SE Productions. Uh, Ginoong Pilipinas KSA 2021 is distinct from the rest uh, because he is God fearing, he is humble, and he's very down to earth. We're looking at these qualities for this year's Ginoo Pilipinas KSA 2021. Mr. Rani, why did you choose Bahay Kubo Restaurant as one of your sponsors? Why Bahay Kubo? Because tangkiriki na sariling atin. Siyempre, Pilipino, ang magtutulungan ka pa Pilipino, that is my main purpose why I decided to choose uh, Bahay Kubo as one of our sponsors. And thanks and thank you because Madam Hazel is very cooperative to us, very generous supporting the you know, Pilipinas KSA 2021. Indeed, Bahay Why did you join Ginoong Pilipinas KSA 2021? Hi, my name is Jay Fad Ashby, representing Cotabato City. Um, I joined Ginoong Pilipinas, it's because um, I want to enjoy myself right now. Uh, working as an OFW, it's very hard. So sometimes we need to find a solution or just, just to have fun. And to be part of Ginoong Pilipinas, it's a big privilege. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Rio and I'm from Albay. Uh, my name is Rio Marpaite and I'm from Albay. Uh, the reason that I joined the Noong Pilipinas is aside from the platform that they offer for OFW's opportunity to like not just, uh, enjoy ourselves here and meet other people, but the main reason also is to win of course because I will not join this competition just to lose. Yes, that's all. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Arzal Aji, Castillo Morales, representing from the province of Eastern Samar. I joined Gino you know, not because I need to. I joined because this is what I want and that this is my passion in life. I am Gino you know, because I am persistent, confident, and determined to win. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Miko J. Uh, I'm from Laguna. And I joined uh, Gino ng Pilipinas KSA because uh, aside from having fun, uh, have uh, experience or learning something, uh, practically speaking, of course, uh, if I win, I would be able to uh, receive a prize. So, and this prize uh, is, is a big help for, uh, for my family. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Uh, good day everyone. I'm Andrew Q. Garang from Quezon City, Philippines. Uh, the reason why I joined this pageant is to enhance my skills, of course, and to improve my talent, uh, skills, and showcase who I am, who truly I am. And of course, I want to inspire. Uh, actually, I'm the youngest among them, and I want to inspire and motivate every youth or the younger generation to join this kind of pageant so that they can enhance
Uh, my favorite Filipino dish, it's uh, adobo. I think as a Filipino, everyone likes it. And growing up, it's, I mean, it's on the table everywhere. Any carinderia or any restaurants, you can see it. Whenever you will be chosen as the ambassador of Bahay Kubo restaurant, how can you advertise or market Bahay Kubo? Um, I will do my part to market uh, Bahay Kubo. Uh, to tell every Filipino here, the Bai Kubo uh, serves something uh, good food, especially Filipino food that everyone likes it and uh, it's very affordable and at the same time the place is very comfortable to all. It has video okay, which all the people likes it. Thank you. Uh, my favorite Filipino dish is Bicol Express because growing up in Albay in Bicol, that has, Bicol Express is my, our main food, my family's main food. And you can cook it either in, with vegetables only, pork, beef, seafood, anything with gata also. And it really, really tastes good. First is through social media. Of course, it's, it's, it's so obvious. Posting it, uh, putting good captions, by experiencing Bahay Kubo. Second is by, re by recommendation, by word of mouth. Because it's like a water effect, the ripple. One drop of water, then it's, it's multiplied by the... That's it. It's multiplied. Of course. Adobo. The famous Filipino dish that represent our diverse, diverse culture and character. Our diverse culture molds us to be efficient and flexible and makes it stand out. Globally. Diverse. Globally but competitive will use the social media platform the best way and the easiest way to spread the goodness how beautiful the Bahay Kubo has. My favorite Filipino dish is Sinigang. Oh, it's my special dish. <laughs> and aside from that, uh, Sinigang is a very uh, flexible uh, food. It, uh, you can cook it with uh, a lot of vegetables, your, uh, your choice. And it's very, uh, you can gain a lot of uh, uh, healthy uh, vitamins in this food. Thank you so much. I will advertise uh, Bahay Kubo uh, by inviting friends, of course. Many people uh, believe in the saying that to cease to believe, right? And of course, I will let them experience uh, the restaurant itself and uh, experience the food. And then uh, if they uh, have a satisfaction, of course, uh, the recommend will be, uh, will be from there, not me. And it will spread it to the other people. Thank you so much. Uh, my favorite Filipino dish would be kare-kare. Kare-kare uh, is known for its delicious taste. And of course, we're finding authentic, authentic food in the Philippines. When I think I can recommend kare-kare uh, because of authenticity. Uh, I think I can advertise uh, Bahay Kubo. Uh, I have a good amount of followers in uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I think I can post a uh, the menu or something that the Bahay Kubo recommends so I can post it. Or I, you can also make me as a model of this Bahay Kubo. <laughs>
at uh, bukod doon may palaganap nila ang misyon as ginoo 